Hey team, I want to talk to you a little bit today about social media. This is a huge topic. It's number one in our business. It's the way that you reach people. It's the way that you connect, build your brand, grow your team, get new challengers. It's the way that you help people and it's the way that you put yourself out there. You know, there's so many more people out there on social media than we can meet in our hometowns face to face. And so learning this, you know, learning your niche in social media and being consistent really is number one and it's something that I had to learn just like you are so don't get overwhelmed you know when I first started um, I was hardly ever present on social media I had about 500 friends if I ever posted something is about my family it was nothing special um, it's something that you have to learn and you have to practice and it will get easier I promise so I want to try to simplify it for you a little bit today give you some tips um, obviously I'm not the expert there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube um, to give, you know, more specifics in certain areas, but I want to give you a few quick, few quick tips for just general knowledge about social media and kind of give you a place to start and then you can grow from there. Okay. So the first thing I want you to remember is that your social media is like your mini reality show. Okay. I heard that early on and it really just kind of clicked with me and I went, okay, that makes sense to me. So, you know, it's not all about Beachbody. Beachbody is one little part of your life, or maybe it's a big part of your life, but it's just one part of your life. You have so many other things in your life that you can talk about. You know, if you just talk about Beachbody and fitness and push products on your Facebook page, that is going to turn people away so quickly. I mean, so quickly. And word spreads fast, I'm telling you. So you want to make it about your whole life, sharing your life, sharing your journey. It's much more than just Beachbody. So mini reality show, anytime something happens in your day, share it, you know, make it something valuable that people can learn from. Maybe you learned a lesson today. Maybe something bad happened and you learned from it. Share it. Maybe something good happened, you know, just share it. You know, people like to hear good stuff too. Um, but as far as what to post, you know, what time of the day, how many times a day, um, a good place to start is about three to five times a day. And I know that may sound like a lot, but you have to start somewhere. So maybe start with the three, okay? Pick three times of the day that you want to post and the time does matter, okay? Your engagement and your reach on Facebook is based on how many of your friends are on Facebook at that time. So if you post at a time of the day when there's not a lot of your friends on Facebook and no one engages on your post, Facebook is going to drop your post and not very many people are going to get to see it. Okay, I don't know if you know this, but not all of your friends are going to see every one of your posts. It depends on who's on Facebook at that time and who Facebook wants to show it to. So the more engagement you have on your post, the more reach you're going to get, the more people are going to see it, and that's ultimately what you're going for. Okay, so three to five times a day. Now, as far as the times, you may want to test some of these out in your audience and see which ones tend to do better. But some times to give you um, to start with are maybe like 7 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, 5 p.m., 7 p.m., and 9 p.m. Now, from my experience and a lot of the other coaches that I talk to, between 7 and 9 p.m. at night is usually like the peak time of the day. Um, that's when people are at home. They're sitting on their couch. They're at a basketball game. Um, they may be riding in the car. You know, they're on their phone. They're on Facebook at, at that time of the night. So if you have something really, really important that you want a lot of people to see, make sure you post it at that time in the evening, okay? Um... So start there. And as far as what to post, um, just make it about you. Mini reality show. But something that's really good to do is to write down some topics about yourself. At least five to ten things about you that you feel you can share with other people. So maybe it's food, fitness, um, faith, your family. Maybe you're really into a certain kind of hobby or craft. Um, Maybe your kids are really into a certain kind of sport, so you want to connect with other moms who are into that sport. You know, whatever is about your family and your life, you want to find other people that are into that same kind of stuff. So you never want to try to 
pretend like somebody you're not. I mean, you want to connect with people who are like you. So share things about you. You cannot compare yourself to other people. Um, that is huge in this. You know, you have to focus on your content, your page, your goals, what you're doing. You have to focus on you or you're going to get really distracted and overwhelmed. Okay. So now um, I want to give you some quick tips for creating your content. And you definitely want to take notes during this. If you're not already taking notes, um, these are really, really important things. Okay. Number one, no stock photos, please. You know, I know that corporate gives us those images and you can share those with people through personal messaging, but do not post those on your Facebook page. That just screams sales. It screams, I want your money. I'm, if I'm talking to you, I want you to buy this. That's what it says to people. And so do not do that. You know, instead make it a picture or a video of you during your workout and you don't even have to mention the product name. You know, if somebody sees it and they go, hmm, that's interesting, they're going to ask you, you know, um, so no stock photos. Also, no posting your Beachbody link. Okay. No, not at all. Ever. Don't ever post your Beachbody link on your page, on a picture, um, on someone else's page. Please never do that. You know, again, Sales, 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 sales. Also, if you give somebody that link, there's so many options out there that they're not even going to know where to start. So what's better is if you start a conversation with somebody or if somebody says they're interested, then you want to talk to them in a personal message. You want to ask them a lot of questions. You want to narrow it down to like the one challenge pack that is perfect for them or maybe two and then let them decide. But ideally, you want to know everything about their goals and what their intentions are that you give them this challenge pack and say, this is what I think will be great for you. Tell me what you think about this. Then, you know, you've already built that relationship and they trust you and they know that you're really trying to help them and you're not just trying to sell them what's on sale that month, you know, so that you can make a quick sale. You want to really focus on them. Okay. Um, so leave Beachbody out of it you know, most of the time, leave product names out of it and pictures. Um, you want to make sure you have good lighting. You know, sometimes you may have a really nice picture of your dinner or um, it may be a really good picture from your workout, but if it's dark and it's hard to see, no one's going to want to look at that. Also, make your copy, which is the text in your post, make it meaningful. The picture is what's going to catch someone's eye, but then once they stop, you also want them to read. Okay, you do want them to read what you have to say. The longer they stay on your post and look at it and read or watch your video, that's engagement. That's what you want. Okay, you want engagement. Facebook goes, okay, this post is really good because a lot of people are stopping to actually read it. They're not just flipping on by it. You know, the algorithm t can tell that. It, it measures engagement that way. And so you want it to be you know, <laughs> worthy of stopping their scroll to stop, look at that pretty picture and then read what you have to say. And then hopefully like, comment, or share. That is the ultimate, ultimate test of engagement right there. Um, another thing that you can think about is just sharing how Beachbody changed your life. You know, no amount of money that you've made is too small. I don't care if you made $30 this week. What did that do for you? Did that put gas in your car? Did that let your family go out to have a nice dinner together? Did that let you guys go to the movies? Um, did that get you some groceries for the week? You know, you don't have to tell people how much money you're making. You shouldn't. That's none of their business, um, you know, and you shouldn't put that out there because, again, that's kind of salesy. But you can show, just show what it's done for you. You know, maybe you made $100 and that paid for your water bill or that paid for, you know, your electricity or whatever. Um, you have to share those kind of things. You know, what are you able to do now because of Beachbody, either physically, mentally, maybe it's your confidence. That's huge for me. I talk about that a lot. Um, or maybe it's financially. You know, what, what have you been able to do now that you weren't able to do before Beachbody? You have to share those kind of things. Um, something else that I've heard that's really good is that you have to talk to the old you. And that's the same kind of thing that... What did you not have before that you wanted to have? Did you want financial freedom? Did you want to lose weight? Did you want to feel better? Did you want to have more energy? What did you want that you didn't have and now Beachbody gave it to you? There are other people out there feeling the same way right now. And you have to connect with them. You have to talk to them. Okay? Um, 
a, a good schedule that people like to go by is a daily jab and a weekly hook. So a jab is like the everyday share my life, share my life, share my life. You know, I've done this, I've done this. And then the hook is that invitation. Like, are you ready to join me? Do you want to know more about coaching? Do you want to be in my next, next challenge group? Do you want to join my sneak peek? Your direct invitations, those are your hooks. And you should do that at least once a week. But definitely daily jabs, three to five times a day, every single day. Okay. Um, another thing I want to talk about is following top coaches. Now, I wouldn't suggest sharing a lot of other coaches posts because then someone is going to go to that coach's page and follow them. They're not going to follow you, but you need to be following top coaches and get ideas from them and then recreate it and make it your own. Of course, use your own pictures, use your own wording that sounds like you. Um, so I'm going to give you a list of some top coaches that you can follow, but basically anyone in the top 10, um, you know, and, and the more you start following coaches, more will start popping up on your newsfeed. So if you see somebody that you really like their page, follow them, like their page. You know, you have to learn from other people and then make it your own. All right. Um, I do want to share real quick some marketing tools that you can use. And Janelle Summers has a wonderful call about this. I will share it. But um, I like to use pickmonkey.com. It's free for editing photos. Also canva.com, PS Express. Word Swag and Photofy. Um, those are all good apps for creating pictures. Now, videos are very, very important. Um, you have to be doing videos. I know they're uncomfortable, but you have to be doing videos. Now, they don't all have to be workout videos. You can do a video of you cooking and making a recipe. I do videos showing my meal prep for the week. Um, a lot of people are getting more into just talking and giving advice to people. People want to see your face and hear your voice. They really do. That's how they connect with you. So it's it's taking it more personal, um, you know, because you're meeting these people online. And so seeing videos of you makes it more personal. It's like they really know you more. So I like to use iMovie. Um, some people like to use Pick Play Post. But if you have iMovie on your phone, I really suggest iMovie. Um, so that's about all I have. I hope that helps. Please ask any questions that you have, and I'm going to share some of those coaches you can follow. Um, just start. You know, you just have to start somewhere. You have to start and be consistent. Just make it about you. Be real. Be honest. And share your whole life, not just Beachbody. Okay? So hope that helps, and I'll talk to you soon.